So for tonight, I hope to leave you with four key things to take away. First, I hope that we can understand a little bit more about the nuances in the epidemiology and burden of cardiometabolic disease among age groups. And what do I mean by cardiometabolic disease? In this case, I refer to a group of related diseases such as heart attack, stroke, and diabetes that ultimately work together in order to lead to health disparities among different groups. In addition to that, I hope we can dive a little bit into the role of specific clinical, behavioral, demographic, and socioeconomic factors that contribute to differences in cardiometabolic risk among different Asian groups. Third, I hope that to discuss some new developments um, in the field to predict cardiometabolic disease risk, particularly among Asia groups. And finally, I hope to leave you with three action items to think about how can we together improve the health of Asian populations. So with this, I wanna leave you with some final key takeaways. First, multiracial Asian and Pacific Islander groups experience increased risk of cardiovascular disease and obesity when compared to single race, Asian and non-Hispanic groups. Second, social and health factors have a meaningful contribution in explaining the burden of cardiometabolic disease among Asian groups. And finally, as the Asian and Pacific Islander populations diversify, there's a need um, for new prediction models to account for these diversifying populations. And with that, let me leave you with three calls to action. What can we do to improve Asian and Pacific Islander health? The first thing I wanna emphasize is the importance of advocacy. Again, there is no story if there are no data. So I really wanna call upon you all to advocate with your legislators to more intentionally collect data on disaggregated Asian Pacific Islander groups, but also make these data um, available for public use. Armand Jamal and his colleagues really highlighted some of these issues with respect to the availability of um, public use data, especially with respect to um, the different racial and ethnic groups. In addition to that, I want our stories to be known. So I wanna encourage you all to participate in clinical trials to increase the representation of Asian Pacific Islander people, especially those from less representative groups. Now, in particularly here at Stanford, we have a new cohort called the ARISE cohort, which aims to enroll 2,100 Asian Pacific Islander individuals in order to better understand the cardiovascular health among Asian Pacific Islander people. This is going to, going to be part of a 10,000 person cohort, essentially very similar to the Framingham Heart Study, to ultimately understand the individual and social factors that ultimately lead to differences in cardiovascular disease health. Now, if you're not here at Stanford, I wanna encourage you to look at other recruitment sites such as the University of Washington, University of Hawaii, and New York University as well. And finally, let's initiate and maintain health habits such as exercise, healthy eating, and um, lack of smoking and tobacco. 